Because I went to him, he turned his head and I hit him on the back part of the head here. And he just turned and fired at me. Shots have been fired at Princess Anne and Captain Phillips. They escaped, but four people were hit, one seriously. Princess Anne and Mark Phillips were on their way either to or from Buckingham Palace when a car drove in front of their official vehicle and stopped it. Now a gunman got out and fired several shots through the windscreen. <laughs> There's a gun on the floor, he's got another gun in his hand, he's got Princess Anne by the arm, pointing the gun at her head, and he's saying, come on Anne, you've got to come, you know you've got to come. And the calmest person you've ever seen in your life was Princess Anne. She just went, go away, you silly man. I leant into the car, I said, come this way Anne, you'll be safe. I got by the forearms, held him out, out of the car, in front of me, and I said, now we're going to walk away, and he's going to have to go through me to get you. At that point, he has run round behind me. Mark Phillips has seen that, dragged her back into the car. So when I've turned round, he's there now. He's like as far away from me as you are, and he's standing with a gun pointing at me. And I thought, well, it's your turn or my turn. And then I hit him very, very hard. At Buckingham Palace, an investiture for the heroes of the Mall, followed by an informal reception in the white drawing room, with the Queen, Princess Anne and Captain Mark Phillips. The meeting of the Queen, that was so special because, you know, suddenly I'm, I'm going to do something that probably wasn't going to come into my normal life, was it? How was I going to go and meet the Queen? And there I was going to meet the Queen through, save, through saving her daughter's life. When, when she presented me with a medal, uh, as she put the medal on me, she went, this medal thanks you as the Queen but I want to thank you as Anne's mother. I'm obviously saddened that I've reached the stage in my life where I need to sell the medal. But I do know by how ill I've been over the course of time, the inevitable, the end is, isn't always that far away. I want to know that I've done enough to bury myself.